So this hydraulic power pack came in from a movie special effects company. We're on the Gold Coast, so there's a bit of a movie industry here. When you first look at this power pack, you go, wow, this is a bit complicated, what's going on? So I'm going to attempt to do a bit of a breakdown of just what this unit actually does. Starting with the power pack, 5.5 kilowatts, or around about 7.5 seven horsepower electric motor, 1450 RPM, because here in Australia we run 50 hertz, not 60 hertz. Inside the tank here, Inside the tank is a gear pump, single suction, single discharge. It does about 19, 20 litres a minute at 1450 RPM. Uh, we'll give the tank a bit of a clean. There's the, uh, the dip pipe from the return filter. There's also another return line there coming back from the um, Accumulator. There's also another return line there that's not being currently used at the moment. So what actually goes on here? So coming out of the pump inside the tank. That's actually the, the discharge from the pump. And it's coming up to a T, which I'll talk about in a minute, but it's also coming up to a inline relief valve. And the relief valve is actually taking a pressure signal from the discharge line. So if it reaches a certain pressure, which is indicated here, this is just an isolated, pretty fancy isolation valve for the pressure gauge. I'm sure, I think it's just got tape on it because they've actually lost the rubber plug that goes in there. Anyway, so if it reaches a certain pressure, that's how you adjust the pressure. It will then excess oil will come out of here, go down here, go into this block and these two lines are interconnected and that then goes along here, along there into the filter and back into the tank. So once it reaches certain pressure this will open up and release any excess oil back into the, back into the tank. What else happens here? What else can we see? So here's actually an accumulator, quite a large accumulator. Let's see if we can see what it says. It's rated to a maximum of 330 bar. Don't know what the charge pressure is because that's where it should say charge pressure, but it says nothing. Don't even know what size it is. These codes will probably mean something. Uh, let's have a look around there. If we can see anything that says volume oh, there it is there looks like 10 liters you can see that looks like a 10 liter accumulator so inside here is like a big heavy duty balloon and on the next side of the balloon you actually put in an inert gas and depending on what charge and what pressure you want this accumulator to work at depends on how much air pressure or actually not air you should never use air should never use oxygen you use an inert gas like nitrogen so you'll fill the bladder as it's called with a, a certain set charge depending on what you want to do so what this does it as it fills with oil it compresses the balloon that's in here with the gas and until it reaches a certain set pressure so basically all you have is a cylinder that's got a balloon with gas in it that's under pressure now so it's like a stored charge of oil coming out of the pump let's continue on comes along here we've also got another pressure gauge up here same thing again they've lost the rubber bung bung again fancy isolating valve for the gauge coming out of there coming into there so it can go into these two big valves which i'll talk about in a minute but can also go down into down into the bottom of this 
accumulator and then up into the accumulator on the wet side or the oil side of the accumulator and that's where the bladder is. So you've got a set charge, you reach a certain pressure, this is potentially half full of oil and then you've also got this relief valve that will send excess oil after this is actually charged up. So then if this is on a recycle loop under pressure, we're right back to tank. Looks like over here, if they're using it for extended periods of time, there's some sort of temperature sensor system here. Potentially they're taking a bleed of the oil from somewhere. I haven't worked out where yet on this system. Potentially to an oil cooler to control oil within a certain range. Uh, obviously not being used at the moment. Uh, as I said, tank top return filter. Now this here, I'll briefly explain it. So you've got accumulator here. Once you shut everything down, this accumulator will still have a stored charge in it. And I believe this valve, if you energize this valve, this then opens up this port, which is also interconnected to the bottom of the accumulator and it will let any charge that's actually still stored in this accumulator out and go back to tank as well. So this is basically a way to depressurize and make the system safe and pressure free. So that's all that is, is like an unloader valve, I believe, for this accumulator system. So what's the purpose of the accumulator? Like I said, you've got this very small pipe coming out of there feeding a very large accumulator with very large discharge pipe. So this is like a, a way of utilizing not only the supply from the pump but also this stored supply to send under pressure a large volume of oil potentially at high velocity for a short period of time until it charges up again. So that's what this group of valves here are doing. You've got large which is called C-top 5 valves, um, small line feeding but a very large line coming from the accumulator feeding these valves. So these have got quite large ports, this hasn't got as large a port, so when you energize this you're going to get the pump supply plus the accumulator supply coming out through one of these two ports and going to a function, potentially a motor on a winch, you know, to move something very, very quickly for a short period of time, or a cylinder to lift something quickly, move something quickly, or launch something quickly into the air. Uh, this is what hydraulics do. Launching stuff in the air, usually they use pneumatics, but maybe hydraulics is a little more controllable flow control valves, these are like a check valve, allow the oil to free flow in one direction and restrict it in the other direction. This larger return, uh, obviously you need a large return if you've got a large supply going somewhere, you're going to have a large supply coming back and that obviously has to go somewhere. So this is probably why this is here, to actually take that large combined flow from the accumulator and the pump back into tank. So that's the system guys, so it looks to be have been made in Germany at some point or other. Potentially this could have been used, we see this a lot in high-rise, these type of power packs in high-rise buildings, you know for raising formwork as they move up a level in high-rise buildings, I've seen something very similar, not necessarily accumulated. This may have been purpose made specifically for the special effects industry or it's been repurposed from some other industrial application. When you first look at it, it looks really complex. I think the idea with our hydraulics and any electrical drawing or hydraulic drawing or construction drawing, you just break it down into its individual components and then it's not so scary. hope this was of some use to you, a bit of a learning curve for you. You know a little bit more about accumulators, uh, unloader valves, inline relief valves yeah, with a pilot signal pressure gauges and this is what you do to pressure gauges when they lose a little rubber plug on the top 
uh, a little bit of um, duct tape inspection ports on tanks which is, makes them really nice and easy to check and inspect and work on rather than having to undo all the bolts but what's really also really f fancy is this is a really thick you know, I think it's like three eight ten millimeter plate actually beveled the edges all around on this plate so it makes it much more weatherproof any water or rain that drip that falls on here drips off and doesn't actually work its way into the corners there and into the tank so it's really well designed level gauge forgot to mention level gauge breather and filler return filter unloader valve inline relief adjustable inline relief valve C top 5 valves there for high flow accumulators charge port for accumulator for inert gas 5.5 kilowatt electric motor and a bunch of controls this is a temperature control system so quite a lot of bits and pieces on this hydraulic power pack